hi precious ones welcome once again to our channel yes this is not our channel because you're the viewer as well so thank you for your support for your love and in case you're new to this channel you're very much welcome my name is beautiful Flo, and just in case you're a returning viewer and subscribers you know i love you you know i love you yeah i do you know often i tell people say something comment come on to the chat box yeah unfortunately people don't comment on the topic session <laughs> they often send me messages either on whatsapp they send me on my they dm me on instagram on facebook you know or when i meet people one on one they tell me oh i watched your video that's when they are commenting oh your hair was nice oh you had a very nice dress oh but when I tell them to write their comment here on the chat box, whoa. <laughs> they don't. But they wait until they see you. That's when they give you the comments they want to give you. So that's what I've been experiencing. Whenever I tell people comment, they come to give me feedback later, either one-on-one -on -one or they just DM. Anyway, I'm still grateful for the comments that they often come through. And then another thing, I don't know if it's true or if it's not true, but somebody said this to me. Uh, those people who can't express themselves publicly, like they want to show they can give you a positive feedback in public, it means in secret with another group, they usually talk you down or they usually discuss or gossip you. So in secret, when they meet with the other friends or other whatever group it is, they talk negatively about you. So when they probably want to come online, they don't want to be seen, you know, writing a good comment to whatever you're doing, either your photos or your videos, because secretly they were discussing you. You were their topic. <laughs> How true anyway tell me if that's the case but if that's not the case it's fine it's okay i don't give a damn anyway uh those who are wondering is why is she putting her dress like this well it's meant to be like this that's how it was designed yeah and this one i got it as a gift i didn't buy it i was gifted do you want to know who gifted me yeah very soon I'm going to bring her into my show as well. She has gifted me a lot of things. I'm not bringing her because she has gifted me a lot of things. Anyway, every time I usually get a gift or somebody gives me something, I'm like, it's my harvest. <laughs> I celebrate and say, yay, my harvest has come. You know, and I'm like, whoa, great. You know, great harvest has come. Great harvest has come my way because, you know, as we all know, or in case you don't know, what you reap is what you sow. So you can't expect to harvest. What did I say initially? Anyway, you can't expect to harvest if you didn't sow anything. And sometimes uh, it doesn't mean if you've sowed something to someone, you're expecting to reap from them. Help can come from anywhere. We have over 1 billion population all around the world so i'm not restricting myself to one particular person to uh bless me or to people are channels so god can use anybody anywhere for for me yes where's my camera yeah god can use anybody anywhere for me so what i know is i'm never disadvantaged okay so today i also want to talk to you you that you tuned into this channel and as well can i say comment yes yeah, still comment or you just feel free come back and tell me <laughs> the comments if you don't want them to see that you are in good terms with me yet secretly you're not in good terms with me anyway it's okay so leave a comment give it a thumbs up thumbs up thumbs up and of course, share. I tell people to share, but do you share my video? Okay, maybe. How can you share? How can you share this video? Um, You can send it to someone. You can send a link or you can recommend. You meet someone, you tell them, oh, by the way, have you watched Beautiful Flow? She's happening. 
yeah, I'm happening. All right. So today I want to talk to everybody. And uh, what I want to talk to is, you know, as we are growing up, there are lessons that we learn. I'm sure there are those things that we were told while growing, but we never took them very seriously. You just have to experience it by yourself. Then that's when you realize, um, I think this is working for me. I think this is not working for me. I think I should follow this and I shouldn't follow this. So those are called life lessons. And every day there's an opportunity to um, experience life lessons, things that you now know and you know, or things that they've really taught you a lesson or, yeah, something like that. So I'm going to point out as many as I can, okay, as many as I will remember. And feel free also to, also, I don't know, if I tell people feel free to comment. I hope. <laughs> anyway, so uh, things that you need to know and their life lessons a lot of people have experienced. So I can say they are tested and proven and I have, okay, I as well understand what might work for someone might not work for another person because you're all different. But there are particular principles, there are particular lessons in life that they are key. I mean, they are key. If you're not, there's this phrase in Swahili say, asiyofunzo na mamai, hufunzo na ulimuengu. Okay, so if you know a good or better translation into English, please translate for us on the chat box. Yeah, so one, you need to, where can I start? Okay, so let's begin. Can I say one? Yeah, one, you need to understand that time does not last forever, okay? Time does not wait for you. So whatever you had planned to do, just know that, Time is going. Time is flying. You know, we are approaching. I don't know when rapture is going to come, but you know it's going to be soon. But meanwhile, if Jesus tarries, still understand time does not wait for anybody. Time flies. If you've not yet discovered, <laughs> it's something that you need to know. Time does not wait for you. So whatever you have to do now, if you have to do uh, impact uh, for the gospel, do it. This is the moment. If there are things also you want to do for your parents, for your family, for people you know, this is the moment. Time never waits for anybody. Okay. If there are people who've been a blessing to you, look back. Go and look for them and be a blessing to them. It doesn't mean you now have to meet them one on one now to say da da da. You can do ambassadors, you can do there's a way. Just package a gift. Go and say thank you because time does not wait and yeah time does not wait okay and then you also need to take a risk you know there's there's that fear in people that ah i don't know how it... okay you know there's that fear people are they are afraid to take risk because they're like, I don't know how it will end up. I don't know if it's the right thing to do. Sometimes risks are good. I don't know which risk have you ever taken. And later on, you're proud of yourself. And you know, there are people who, they don't take any risk. But later on, they are full of regrets. So which side are you? You took a risk and you're like, wow, I'm glad I took this risk. Or you didn't even try. You didn't even attempt. But you live with regret. You're like, ah... Because, you know, some opportunity comes once. And once they come, before they come again, it's going to take years. It's going to take months. It's going to take, it seems like forever. But if you have an opportunity to take a risk, it depends what kind of risk you're taking. Okay. But, you know, this is all about positive vibes and things that are going to build you and be of great help to you. Okay. And then you don't have to like, uh, you don't have to act like, I'm in point three, by the way. <laughs> so you don't have to act like someone you are not. I don't have to act like someone I'm not. You know, because let's assume I'm acting like someone I'm not. Do you know what? I'm wasting time. It's better I just be me, me, me and be known for me for who I am. 
and not to be known for someone else. And this is whereby you need to stick to what you believe in. Okay. We, you, you have to stick to your conviction, their conviction that you have. This is the moment, the moment I'm trying not to speak so fast. Yeah. Uh, it's the moment that you stick to those, the things that you believe and then you, yeah, something like that. Okay. Yeah, so it's not a moment to please everybody at the cost of your happiness. You know, people are... I don't want to go there, but just... You don't have to please everybody. Don't be a people pleaser. Just if if it's something, like let's say it's a job you're doing. You know, you've been employed... All you have to do is do your best. You're there to do your best. You're not there to play. Okay. Not that you're pleasing. You're there to do good. I mean, you're there to do your best. And when they see your good work, like what the scriptures say, they will give glory to God. But in terms of work, it's also maybe you get promotion. In terms of work, maybe you you get an opportunity to speak to uh you other members of the team maybe to encourage them or to tell them how you do or how you get your targets and all that you know but they did don't be people pleaser you want to please everybody you do things because you mm. anyway <laughs> i know this one it's a bit controversial but get what you think is beneficial for you okay and then you need i'm now in point number four number four you need to take care of your body Taking care of your body, it's, it's, it's a lot. It's a lot that you have to do. Basically, what do I mean a lot? You need to eat very well. Either consider what you eat, balanced diet, you know. You know, you have also to educate yourself on what you put in your body, okay? And do exercise. If running, it's too tiring for you and it's not kind of exciting, you can also... You can still do it, but find ways on how to make it exciting. Maybe you can listen to music while jogging or running. Or you can actually go with friends or families or just someone who you would be glad to go with doing this exercise with. Okay, And of course, you need to drink a lot of water. It can never be either overemphasized, you know. Water is very beneficial for you. You don't need to be reminded again and again. This are uh, you know, this is the body is is uh our body gives us right to be here on earth. So take care of your body, take care of you. If you really worked, worked so 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 hard, you know, you need also to take out time to relax. Sometimes our bodies they need rest, they need to relax. Somebody once gave an example and someone said that, uh, you know, he used to be very hardworking, very, very hardworking. He'd work overnight. I mean, he'd work, I don't know whether overnight, but that extra stretch. So one time he felt like, wow, the body couldn't do any, any, I mean, he couldn't do anything. I mean, I mean, he just... Oh, uh, how can I put it? It was just mm, he stretched till I mean he stretched so much and he was very very tired. So he was taken to the hospital by his wife and his brother. So when they reached at the hospital, the doctor tested everything to find that there's nothing, no no sickness. So the doctor asked the wife, "What does the man do?" And the, the wife said that the man is a pastor. Then the doctor said, no wonder, no wonder. You know, he used to overwork himself. So what he was told, he was actually given a sleeping medicine. And he slept and slept and slept. And that fatigue that he had, I think later on, he relaxed and he was much better. 
So you see, if you overstretch your body, walk, 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 it will just reach a time your body is not even responding. You become weak. So don't overstretch yourself. Walking is good. I'm not against walking hard. Okay, some people should do some overtime work so that they get that extra amount. I'm not against that. But what I'm just trying to encourage you is at least get time to rest. You need to rest your body. You need also to, you know, relax your mind. If you have an opportunity also to go for a massage, I think it's also going to be very good to you, for you, and to your body. Okay? All right. Let's now go to, that was number that was number four. So now let's see number five. Don't be too tough on yourself. Don't be too tough on yourself. Uh, in this case, you you know some people, they usually talk negative things about themselves. They talk themselves down. You know, they find you find the words like, I'm a failure. I'm dumb. I'm stupid. Just because of a mistake, you don't have to call yourself all this. Mistakes are allowed because out of mistakes, you can learn through them, but you're not making mistakes deliberately. There are mistakes that, this is, I mean, I'm not going to categorize mistakes, but some mistakes actually are opportunity for you to grow, the opportunity for you to learn, and not for you to talk you down or to talk yourself down. Instead, you need to speak positive things. You need to affirm uh, uh, positive words to you, for you, you know. So don't be too tough on yourself. Yeah, life is not... Life can be tough. <laughs> life can be tough, but don't be too tough on yourself. Okay, so now we're in point number six. Point number six, you also have to build strong relationships. Relationship, it's also another sensitive topic, by the way, because I don't know if I should do this or let me just explain the few that I can, okay? Yes, relationship is sensitive. But what I'm actually saying here is build strong relationships. Building strong relationship, it takes a lot. It takes you trusting people. You, it's just a lot. And I'm saying it's a bit sensitive because you find yeah, they are truly, honestly, they are fake friends. And you also have, when I mean fake, you also have to come to a point of maturity to understand whether somebody is really, really fake or a mistake was done and just distracted your relationship. They are two different things, okay? Between being fake and a mistake that was done. Because maybe all along, this person was ever, I mean, this person was just so good to you and, and yeah, you've, a lot, a lot you've built, but a mistake happened. Mistake happening doesn't call the person a fake person. Because if we are to talk about fake, there's a lot of things that you can just assess by yourself and realize, mm -hmm. these ones, they're just there uh, to, they're just there to take advantage of me or it's not going anywhere or they're not building me or you know, so uh, it's very sensitive. It's very sensitive. Maybe next time I'm going to talk about it. But I've also done a, another video concerning friendship and maturity. So in case you've not watched that video, I would recommend, please watch the video so that you can also comment and you can understand. 
again at this point i understand there are people who really survived without friends and the reason is initially they had friends but at some point because of different behaviors that people true colors you know people have their true colors yeah and these true colors it's never seen in the initial stages but later as time goes you get to know the the person the person you know because you've spent time with them you, you you know so yeah i understand there are some people who they really like really really survived without friendship all they have is colleagues maybe family or acquaintance or just people they talk to but not friends you know friends there's a difference between acquaintance and friends okay so not everybody everybody can be acquaintance cuz you people you meet in social gatherings you you know where they stay and live and all that but it doesn't make them your best friend when we now talk about best friends it has it is another level okay anyway but what i'm trying to say is try also to build strong relationships either it could be with family or friends or you know friendship that are heading somewhere or friendship that they are of great help to you or friendship because you know what we need to have that genuine bond with people don't be a fake friend you know that genuine concern that genuine love that genuine genuineness <laughs> if there's something like that if there's a word like that okay yeah then another point you know material goods they don't bring okay so material things they don't bring your life joy ah this is also sensitive <laughs> because there are people who are very extravagant and they think oh getting a new shoes getting a new getting a new wardrobe getting a new car getting new stuff getting you know that's what they feel that it brings joy to them but please understand material things they it doesn't bring that full feeling joy and at the end of it we're going to leave these things here on earth so you don't have to break a bank to buy that dress or to buy that shoe or to have that wedding or to you know you don't have to you don't have to go into debt to to uh, do that wedding or uh, buy that car or you know some debts are just there to press on you So that's what I'm trying to say. Um material goods they don't bring that joy in you because now let's say you take debt to get something that is a liability or just to waste it. Has it brought joy to you? No. You'll spend years paying the debt or you now also have a different money can also destroy relationships, you know. so uh that's also something you need to understand what you have to do is um is don't allow material things to dictate your life to dictate the things you do If you do that you'll focus more on the wrong things. Okay, so don't focus on the wrong things. Life is not about buying things. Life is not about buying things. It's not about that. And don't let anybody pressure you in getting things that you cannot afford. If you can't afford, stick to your lane. Stick to your side. Okay, if you can afford well and good. Okay? you need to reflect on what is important for you and what is not important for you okay now let me look at also if now maybe things like clothes you know clothes they're going to wear out one time or you're not going to wear them forever or you know even shoes 
you're not gonna so you don't have to they don't have to don't be moved don't be moved with such things okay don't be moved with such things and there are levels in life it can reach a time maybe where you are right now it's not where you used to be years back okay so there's also an opportunity for growth and when you grow to a particular time a particular point in your life there are things that you don't even struggle for there are things also these material things they come to you free course and hindered you know so you don't even have to spend a dime to get it but don't let these things move you okay yeah Yeah, sometimes also it's good to focus on some things that money can, can't buy and find joy in it. The things that money cannot buy. Yes, maybe you should also focus on that. So can we name the things that money can't buy? Help me, my viewers. Type on the chat box. <laughs> okay, so let's move on to the next one. Mm. Don't give up too quickly. Do not give up too quickly. Don't give up too quickly. You've just started something and you feel like, okay, let's give an example of a business. Excuse me. You've just started a business. It's one or two months or three or not yet three or six or one year. Maybe you're already complaining or you're not seeing the results you thought it would be. You're like, ah, oh, I don't think this is my area. This is my thing. You know, don't give up too easily. Maybe just be consistent. Sometimes consistency gives us the miracle or the results that we desire or we want. Apart from uh, consistency, hard work, and then you know also to understand the field that you're doing so well and understand the strategies and all that. So a lot is involved. Before you give up, you need now to... Uh, consider some factors whether have you tried this have you done it or just do something in a different way or seek help it's not bad to seek help okay yeah uh kwa kiswahili tunasema kuliza si ujinga <laughs> someone also please translate that for us yeah kuliza si ujinga so sometimes ask seek help okay mm -hmm. Yeah, and again, if let's say uh, you're also doing exercise and you want to achieve some body goals, but along the way, you give up. You feel like, oh, I'm not really like doing it again. So maybe just do it bits by bits. Even if it's 10 minutes or 5 minutes or whatever minutes, you know, at least bits, bits consistently. And again, it can also be in terms of prayer. Uh, you feel like, oh, I don't want to pray for an hour. Oh, I don't want to pray just do let's say uh you've been doing you feel like hey manzi 15 minutes is long or 20 minutes is long or one hour it's long or just start with that few minutes that you are able to maybe it's three minutes or two minutes yeah be consistent with it and then you're gonna grow okay yeah so you can move from three minutes to five minutes be consistent with that five minutes next time increase it to ten so you're now giving yourself also new targets. So that is also something that can challenge you know, to uh, keep doing and not to give up, okay? Have goals, set priorities, and all that. And most importantly, it's good to be grateful each moment, you know, each day, each month, each whatever, each second. Be grateful. Be grateful. In all things, give thanks. Whether things are happening or things are whatever, whatever, give thanks. Just be grateful. Have a grateful heart. With a grateful heart, I lift my hands to you. Proclaiming, Lord, you reign. 
With a grateful heart, I lift my hands to you, proclaiming, Lord, you reign, Lord, you reign. Great are you, Lord, you are granted to be praised. Yeah, give thanks, okay? Yeah, so thank you all. Thank you once again for watching my video till the end. And if you've not subscribed to just <laughs> if you've not subscribed to this channel, you're welcome. Please subscribe. Let me know what you feel. Give it a thumbs up and see you in my next videos.